I made a statement at the beginning. I said, the Lord sent me for you. But perhaps particularly this time for Apostle Aaron. Three nights ago, I was in a vision of the night. And he came. And he was taking me around an edifice. It's more than a stadium. In, out, in, out. Say this shootout covers to this place. And at the end of all the movement up and down, I just opened my eyes. I woke up. And I asked the Lord, what's this? He's going to build an, a, a bigger than a stadium tent or what is this that he's showing me? And the Lord said to me, I am set to usher him into an unprecedented dimension. And I want you to go and give him a push. The instruction was very, very clear. Then I knew that I was not just coming for a crusade. I knew that I was not just coming for a conference. And um, we have been praying since then. And I'm glad that God has so chosen that we will be part of this new season that he's ushering his servant to. So permit him, me to ask him to come and ask you to stand up. My faith is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood our righteousness I dare not trust the simplest race but one on Jesus name on Christ the Son Stretch your hand in this direction and lift up your voice to God that what heaven is saying concerning him, God we bring to pass in the name of Jesus. This new season that God has spoken to him about, this new season that heaven has announced, this explosion that God is bringing, this unprecedented dimension that God will cause it to be, that God will cause it to happen, that God will cause it to come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Come and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. 
pray from the depth of your heart. Pray from the depth of your heart. Pray for grace. When the Lord is thinking big, speaking big, planning big, the enemy is also plotting big. A new level of God's wisdom. A new level of God's knowledge. Wisdom, 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 wisdom. To navigate through. Wisdom to accomplish. Mina soto bujelila yase kato naite nika skiba guda gatani hey aya katusi anano telesa sakudia adano magula agani agaya atu ata takanina takayaye ekelisa sakanuna makarlalo elia lala laguda dagaya kanuna Makaya, Ekia, Kusia, Sakalu, Kartala, Aduzianana, Egagago, Gadua Gadane, Etelia, Baruka, Bakaye, Eteseni, Etesea, Sakaluda, Akazia, 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 Mazozozo, Eginano, Egelitali, Bagatua, Bagataya, Yakwa, Yakwa, Aqua, Aqua, Asu, Sosu, Sakalula, Takanina, Akai, Tenna, Dua, 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 Daya, Daya, Yakua, Yakasa, Sakala, Akani, Akaya, Egiagaga, Megiagaga, Mano Tela, Makataya, Akasula, Eskenina, Kurtilae, Ekinana, Adosia Za, Zakanina, Magarilalo, Ekiana, Zukanina, Zukayaya, Adosia Za, Zukanimani, Mikaninae, Ekelita Saya, Askularinae, Ega Zai, Zagoga. I release you unto this unprecedented dimension that heaven has announced in the name of Jesus. Your life is preserved. Your life is preserved. As the Lord enlarges you on every side, enemies will multiply. His love shall be a covering around you. No weapon that is fashioned against you shall prosper. No counsel that is taken against you shall stand. You shall fulfill your days. Today, I confer on you uncommon, unexplainable, supernatural strength in the name of Jesus. Your body shall be able to cope with the assignment after now in the name of Jesus. Your family is preserved. 
your wife is a partaker of this oil. Her season also has broken. Your children shall be partakers. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. We watch to see what shall become of this after now. And to you we return all the glory. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. Give the Lord a big, 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 big cup. What's the one thing holding you back from living the life God has called you to? I bet it's fear. Fear that whispers, you're not enough, you can't do it, you'll fail. But what if I told you, God never intended for you to live in fear? In fact, he has given you everything you need to overcome it. Today, we're going to talk about how to break free from the chains of fear and walk in the boldness that God has already placed inside of you. And it all starts with one thing, faith. Let's dive in. Fear is something we all face. It can be paralyzing, overwhelming, and even make us doubt God's promises. But here's what we need to understand. Fear is not from God. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 7 says, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Let that sink in for a moment. Fear is not your identity. Power, love, and a sound mind are. Fear doesn't get the final say in your life. God's power does. I know some of you are watching this right now feeling like fear has gripped every area of your life. Fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of the unknown. But here's the good news. Jesus is greater than your fear. When you feel anxious or afraid, you're not meant to carry that weight alone. In fact, Jesus invites us in. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Fear can weigh you down. It can make you feel like you're carrying a burden too heavy to bear. But God is saying, come to me. Give that fear to me and I'll give you peace. When you put your trust in God, you start to realize that he's bigger than your fears. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10 reminds us, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. God is literally promising that you don't have to do it alone. He's holding you up even when the fear feels overwhelming. What if, instead of focusing on your fears, you started focusing on God's promises? Practical Steps to Overcome Fear So, how do we practically overcome fear in our daily lives? Here are three key steps. Number one, meditate on God's Word. The Bible is full of promises that combat fear. One of my favorites is Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous, do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Read scriptures like this daily, remind yourself of God's truth, and fear will lose its grip on your heart. Number two, pray boldly. Prayer is not just asking God for things, it's an exchange. When you come to God in prayer, give him your fear and receive his peace. Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7 tells us, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Number three, take action in faith. Fear tries to freeze you in place, but faith moves you forward. Whatever God is calling you to do, do it despite the fear. That's where real courage comes from. 
not the absence of fear, but moving forward through it with the strength of God by your side. In conclusion, listen, I don't know what fears you're facing right now, but I do know this. God has already given you the power to overcome them. You don't have to live in fear anymore. You can live boldly, confidently, and courageously because God is with you. Remember Romans chapter 8, verse 31. If God is for us, who can be against us? So, don't let fear have the final word in your life. Instead, let faith rise up. Let God's promises lead the way. If this message has touched you, don't keep it to yourself. Share it with someone who needs to hear it. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more content that will strengthen your walk with Christ. Let's break free from fear together.